What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the absolute crazy rumors going around about Debo Samuel requesting a trade from the San Francisco 49ers. And are the Patriots a true potential suitor? for Debo Samuel. All those details are going to be released in this video here today, so make sure you guys watch this video through. Leave a thumbs up on this video, helps me and the channel out tremendously, and of course, subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news if you have not already. Now, San Francisco's star wide receiver originally started these rumors when he made sure to go on social media and remove everything that had to do with him and the San Francisco 49ers. Now, a lot of the times players are doing this as a new way of air quote holding out. You know, they release or not release, but they delete all of the stuff related to the team because they want a contract extension. But it went even further. Debo Samuel said, I don't care if you offer me a contract extension. I just don't want to play for your franchise anymore. Now, what reason does Debo Samuel have for not wanting to play for San Francisco? We don't know. Again, usually this has to do with contract, but he said, you can offer me a contract. I don't care what you give me. I'm not playing here. So that is a part to the story that we will definitely have to continue to follow as this definitely is going to continue to develop, but he has now expressed interest and a desire to leave the organization and has officially requested a trade. And of course, Patriots players are at it again, trying to recruit these players. Matthew Judon is back at it. Matt Judon actually said pay cut time, saying that he would take a pay cut in order to acquire Debo Samuel and bring on that contract. Trent Brown also trying to recruit him along with a couple of other Patriots players. And from what it sounds like, Debo Samuel definitely has interest in the New England Patriots, which does make a lot of sense. Let's remember, during the 2019 offseason, uh, right before the 2019 draft, Debo Samuel was one of the guys that the Patriots had a top visit with. He actually came to Gillette Stadium. He actually posted a video, too, of him leaving Gillette Stadium, saying, see you soon, Bill Belichick, and everybody went off the rails saying, hey, we know who Bill Belichick is going to be taking in the 2019 draft. But instead, the New England Patriots decided to go ahead and select Nikhil Harry with the 32nd overall pick. And it's just funny to see how full circle this thing has gone around. I mean, in just a couple of years, we're going from Debo Samuel entering the NFL, Patriots fans wanting him to be a New England Patriot. I remember making a video, a draft profile on Debo Samuel and how the Patriots are interested in him and how he's a really good fit just for them to pass on him to draft Nikhil Harry. And now a couple of years later, we're talking about how he's a perfect fit for New England, how he wants to play for the Patriots. But unfortunately, now we're talking about the Patriots having to give up quality compensation for him rather than just drafting him a couple of seasons ago. Now, Debo Samuel was one of the many wide receivers in the 2019 draft class that got taken in the second round. A lot of these high quality wide receivers in 2019, we're taken in the second round. DK Metcalf taken, Debo Samuel taken in the second. Uh, I believe AJ Brown was taken in the second also. But what I will say is that Debo Samuel was a fringe first rounder. He went 36 overall to the San Francisco 49ers. That is just four spots, four spots into the second round. So obviously, if the Patriots wanted him, they could have got him a couple of picks before at 32 rather than drafting the kill Harry, which... Obviously, we didn't know how he was going to pan out and be this amazing wide receiver, but he was always a better fit than Nikhil Harry was. But unfortunately, Debo Samuel definitely would not have been there in the second round, meaning that the Patriots either drafted him in the first or they missed off, and essentially they just thought that he wasn't worth that first round pick. Now, like I said earlier in this video, Debo Samuel really is your perfect styled New England Patriots player. He works really well that short to intermediate route, but can also give you a deep threat. But he's so versatile. He's so versatile in the way that Bill Belichick loves his players. He's used as a running back. He's used as a wide receiver. And he can be your number one wide receiver at that. This past year, which was Debo Samuel's third season in the NFL, he actually made a Pro Bowl. He appeared in all 16 games, or I guess now it would be 17, so he did miss one, but was targeted 121 times with 77 receptions for 1,405 yards, averaging 18.2 yards per reception and six touchdowns with a catch percentage of 63.6%. 
What I will say about Debo Samuel, the downside of him, is that since joining the league in 2019, he has actually had the worst drop percentage out of any other wide receiver. Rushing-wise, though, Debo Samuel had 59 rush attempts this past season for 365 yards and 8 touchdowns with a long run of 21 yards. That is the most that he was used as a running back throughout his career in the NFL so far. In 2020, was more of a down year for him because he was dealing with injuries, only played in a total of 7 games, and was targeted 44 times with 33 receptions. For 391 yards, averaging 11.8 yards per reception, one touchdown with a catch percentage of 75%. He also was given eight rush attempts within those seven games for a total of 26 yards and one touchdown. In 2019, his rookie season, he appeared in 15 games, was targeted 81 times with 57 receptions for 802 yards, 14.1 yards per reception, three touchdowns, a 70.4 catch percentage, um, and had 14 rush attempts for 159 yards and three touchdowns. To put how he is as a running back into perspective, in 2019, he was averaging about 11.4 yards per rush attempt. In 2020, he was averaging about 3.3, and then this past season was averaging 6.2 yards per run per rush attempt. Now, one thing Debo Samuel has said, which maybe is part of why he wants out of San Francisco, I'm sure there's more to it, but just a theory that could be part of it. He did say that he wants to be used as a wide receiver. He wants to be primarily used as a wide receiver 114. He's sick of going back and forth between, you know, running back and wide receiver. He wants to be used in a specific role, which is one thing I would say if he came to New England, Debo, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to be used in a multitude of different ways. I don't think they'll use you as much as, you know, of a running back uh, as the 49ers did, but they're definitely going to use that versatility which is definitely something that Debo should keep to his game because it makes him a better player, it makes him more versatile, and at the end of the day, it's going to make him more money. Now, Debo has a nice build to him, doesn't have a great height, pretty average to below average, about six foot, 215 pounds, but again, he's played everywhere on this offense, whether it's backfield or even as a receiver, he's played in the slot, he's played on perimeter, he can play anywhere that an offense needs. But then brings the bearing question on what would have to happen with Debo Samuel. What would it cost the Patriots to acquire Debo Samuel? And I think the one thing here about Debo Samuel is that he's on that rookie contract. He's going to be in contract year for this 2022 season. If he does get traded, he seems like the type of guy who is, again, very willing to be traded, wants to be traded, but is going to want that contract extension with whatever team he goes to. And respectfully so, because whatever team does acquire him is going to have to give up pretty decent draft capital. And you're not going to want to give that up for a guy for just one year. So that's the first thing is that the Patriots would definitely have to... Um, either bring on that contract extension or give him a contract extension once he's traded for. And then obviously there would be several teams that would be interested in Debo Samuel. The top receivers in the league this offseason, guys like Tyree Kill and Devontae Adams, when they were traded, two of the top five wide receivers in this league are making about 25 to $30 million per year. Now, I don't think that Debo Samuel is a top five receiver. You can argue that he's a top 10 receiver. So I don't think he's worth 25 to 30 million, but he could still definitely push 15 to 20. From the research I've done on this topic, I've heard that the compensation for Debo Samuel could very well start at a first round pick. So giving up a first round pick and more to that, I will say that's very dependent on Debo. If Debo is going to be very uh, specific on this trade, then the 49ers really can't push the compensation. If Debo sits back and says, hey, San Francisco, you're trading me or I'm sitting back and I'm not playing for you and I'm only willing to go to these specific teams, then you really can't raise your draft capital in return because opposing teams that Debo Samuel's willing to play for will really hold that against you. So for instance, if Debo Samuel says that, hey, I specifically would want to play for the New England Patriots. I don't see New England having to give up a first round pick because it's either you trade Debo to the Patriots or he just doesn't play for and you keep him on the roster for nothing. But again, that's very dependent on Debo Samuel. And it seems like he's kind of headed towards that, hey, I'll play for specific teams. 
um, and won't play for other teams. And hey, you better trade me because I'm not going to be playing for your franchise next season. But again, we have to see how the story continues to develop. Uh, and if he does have specific teams that he's willing to play for versus teams that he says, hey, you sent me there, I'm not playing. I will say too, I, I do feel like this is a little less likely now that the Patriots have brought on Devontae Parker. If they didn't bring on Devontae Parker, I'd be screaming for this trade. I'd be saying how the Patriots need to jump on this. But honestly, even if the Patriots missed out on Debo, it's like, you know, okay, you're you're definitely missing out on a guy that can make this team better, could really push you to that next level that you need, and you get your wide receiver one and add a young guy too who's in his prime. But you do already have a lot of offensive weapons. And you just gave up a third round pick for Devontae. Now, real quick, I want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this video, BetOnline.ag. Our partners at BetOnline continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that baseball is back along with basketball. So BetOnline is your continued source for all your wagering needs, guys. That includes live betting along with your favorite Vegas casino games and even poker games. And it's super easy to get started. So all you guys have to do is head to their website or use your mobile device to sign up today. And make sure to use our promo code CLNS50 to receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit, guys. Bet online where the game starts. Debo Samuel would definitely make an impact here. You could definitely make the argument that he would be the Patriots wide receiver one immediately as he gets here. Pairing him up with Mac Jones just seems like a thing of beauty because he's already a better quarterback than what San Francisco currently has at the quarterback position, at least until we see Trey Lance prove himself. So I do believe it would be a thing of magic, but again, with Patriots training for Devontae Parker, with the draft coming up, Belichick really could stay pat and say, you know what, I'm okay with what I have. There's other areas of need for me at this point, you know, on defense, etc. But that's going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on this Debo Samuel trade rumors? And do you think New England will be in play? I think New England will be in play. I think they will be interested but ultimately, I'd be surprised to see a final deal get done and Debo actually come to New England. But that's going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Like always, let your boy know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. I appreciate you guys for watching, though. Like always, don't forget, go Pats.